All right. Hello, everyone. I promise I am going to do my best. I am going to attempt to not make this a very long video. I want to get right to the point. I'm very, very concerned uh, about what's taking place on uh, YouTube. There are a great number of people that are following uh, a couple YouTube channels that will just not let Comet Ison die. It's kind of like beating a dead horse. But where my concern is, uh, are for those people that uh, are following the information that's being provided. Now, say what you will, I am truly concerned for those that believe that Comet Ison poses some type of threat or may pose some type of threat uh, in the month of December, the month of January. Now, I'm referring to uh, YouTubers, BP Earthwatch, and also uh, Pastor Paul Begley. Now, being a pastor, we should be um, held accountable. We should be uh, trustworthy men of God. And I uh, understand Pastor Paul Begley uh, is not an expert in this field, so he's getting his information from Jesse, uh, BP Earthwatch. But to be a trustworthy man of God, which I try to be, um, I do a lot of research and I do a lot of uh, digging. Uh, I put out a lot of emails to people that I feel are the experts in this field of study. Uh, to those that uh, are masters of uh, astrophysics, astrology, I get on the phone and I try to confirm the information I'm receiving from Pastor Paul Begley and from uh, Jesse, BP Earthwatch, uh, his channel, because I want to be trustworthy. I want you to trust me. I want to bring you the truth. And believe me, I am following end time Bible prophecy uh, every step of the way. And I'm not here to win a popularity contest. I just want uh, the truth. And I don't want to see people uh, in fear unnecessarily whether you like me or whether you don't i hope you do like me but i'm not here for you to like me you may not like me at all because i don't put out the videos that you might want to see some people want to see um debris from what is remains of common ice and giant asteroids uh, coming down hitting earth that may be what some people want but others may be in fear and it's because I love you that I want to bring you the truth now when you have in your home uh, your garbage and if you don't take it out you just let garbage sit for a long period of time when your family tells you take this out this garbage is done take it out but if you just keep the garbage it begins to stink it begins to smell so what I've done I've been following uh, I'm subscribed to Jesse BP Earthwatch and to Pastor Paul Begley um, but what I'm hearing lately even today what the size of the debris the rock formations that remain in Comet Ison are bigger than uh, what caused the Grand Canyon, or, or they are like the size of a pea compared to what's contained in uh, Comet Ison in, in this debris, these massive rocks larger than asteroids. I get very concerned, so that's the reason for doing this video. But I am no expert, so what I did is I went to, and I will continue if I have to, to do this every day. I went to, uh, I did a lot of research, and I wanted to find someone that would be the top of the line in this field that is kind of has nothing to do not kind of they, they are not associated with NASA in any way and I found someone I went to the Cranbrook Institute uh, Cranbrook rather Institute of Science uh, and I'm on a website here for the planetarium but I wanted to get the top person so let me share this with you and I did let me find it let me get his name, the staff. I went to the head person. I went to 
This person here, Michael J. Narlock, head of astronomy and exhibits, uh, and uh, head of astronomy and exhibits. So let's go take a look at uh, Michael J. Narlock, who I did contact, and I will share the information with you. This comes from College of Arts Science, uh, Michael Narlock. Michael is a Wisconsin native whose interest in astronomy began when he worked at his high school's planetarium. He received his Bachelor of Science in Physics from the University of Wisconsin, River Falls, and a Master of Science in Physics with a concentration in theoretical astrophysics from Michigan State University. He now serves as the head of astronomy at Cranbrook. Cranbrook Ah, why is that a tongue twister? Cranbrook Institute of Science in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Through his position at Cranbrook, Cranbrook, my goodness, Michael has been involved with nearly every facet of astronomy education from implementing teacher workshops, teaching Master of Science education courses in astronomy, and writing uh, producing planetarium programs. Michael is state chairman of the Great Lakes Planetarium Association and a member of the Association of Computing Machinery, the International Planetarium Society, the Warren uh, Astro Astronomical Society, and the American Astronomical Society. Why can't I say Cranbrook? Cranbrook. All right. Now, so I contacted uh, Michael Narlock, and I sent him... Uh, this email. Hello, hopefully you can clear up something for me and many people. On the internet there is a person who has a very popular YouTube channel, BP Earthwatch. He is putting out videos stating that Comet Iceland survived the encounter with the Sun and that its debris tail is huge. He states the rocks inside the debris are enormous. And this poses a danger and threat to us on Earth. I humbly ask your professional and educated opinion on this subject. He also states that November 28th, NASA purposely aimed the cameras in the wrong direction to cover this up. My concern, and this is my concern, is I believe he is putting out false, uneducated information and people are believing him by the thousands a day. This has spread over the internet along with a great deal of fear. Can I please get your expert opinion on Comet Ison? Does it still exist? And is there any threat to the planet? Respectfully, David Zacker, Holly, Michigan, and my phone number. And here is his response. Okay. Let me go up here. And as you can see, Michael Narlock. Michael Narlock. Hello. The comet is essentially no more. There is no threat. This is baseless fear mongering. You have nothing to fear from Comet Ison. So I just wanted to share this with all of you. Leave me comments. No more fear. Uh, gentlemen that are putting this information out, please, please, please stop this. Leave me comments.